Step five for the intermediate oboe player is all about touching the keys. As you're moving your fingers over the keys, first fingers B, then A, then G, then F, and E, and D, and C, down the oboe, it's good to be able to play it as if every finger was like it was glued on to the key. In other words, when the key is down and when the key is up, you want your finger touching the keys at all times. So the motion looks like this, and not like this, like your fingers are flags waving in the breeze. You want your fingers to sound like this, almost silent. Keeping your fingers close is a very important thing as we start off on book two, or intermediate oboe playing. The quality of the sound can change dramatically, can improve, improve tremendously by just simply keeping your fingers close as you play. One of the most important parts of that is from C to D. We're going to the half old D. Or C E flat. Practice the squeezing the instrument, squeezing your fingers at the instrument rather than slapping the keys will ensure that the notes connect together. And we need to do that on many, many pieces on the oboe, starting with the intermediate level playing.